Alright, I'm going to do a video response to one of these stupid fucking commenters. This unhappy test tube baby. We've gone back and forth before, and now he's just, just talking the same crap over and over. Things I've addressed, he's implying I'm suggesting things that I've already ruled out as a possibility of anything I'm suggesting. So I'm going to block him from every channel I have, and he's not going to post anymore, and I'm done with this fucker. So I'm going to read his fucking comments, and then I'm going to delete his fucking comments, and I'm going to block this fucker. Because he's just playing a fucking goddamn game with this bullshit rhetoric. So anyway, so here's your last, here's, here's, here's my last statement to you, you piece of shit. Uh, Alright, can the rich get too rich? It's not a simple question. Bullshit. It's a simple fucking question. There's a finite number of resources in the world. Things. Stuff. There's a finite number of people and a finite amount of work they can do. Now, the simple question is, can one man own too much of that? Can a few people own too much of that? Alright? It's not a complex question. It's a simple motherfucking question. Uh, nor have you provided enough of an argument to support that assertion. Well, fuck you. What, what assertion? I didn't even assert it, okay? In the, the question doesn't assert anything, it asks the fucking question. You apparently have no fucking answer for the question. A simple question. Uh, kings really weren't about riches. What a pile of shit that is. Who says? You say so? You say kings weren't about riches. Kings were exactly about what I talked about. They were about owning everything. Every bit of commerce that took place among the peasants or the serfs, the king taxed the fucking shit out of it. No one had an incentive to do any kind of enterprise or work because they knew they would get taxed the fucking shit out of it. You dumb ass. Um, <laughs> they were about power. Yeah, fuck you. They were about money. Money was power, you dumbass. Money bought the knights. Money bought the soldiers. Money bought the armies. Money bought the ability to take land from other people. Fuck you. You're an idiot. Uh, they got away with what they did because they had loyal minions. No, they didn't have loyal minions. They had paid mercenaries. They could pay people to kill other people. It paid very well. If you were a knight, you got paid very fucking well to go out and kill other fucking people. Uh, all their wealth came through taxes. Damn right, just what I goddamn said. And the tax was essentially the same thing as interest, which is essentially a tax, you dumb fucking cunt. You don't get anything, you dumb stupid prick. Uh, once we were able to limit what they could tax, we started to redeem civil... No, once we took out our pitchforks and run them through their fucking goddamn throats. Once we guillotined the motherfuck out of them, okay? That's when we redeemed our fucking country, you dumb ass, our, our rights our civilization. We took it back from them by cutting their fucking heads off, you dumbass. <laughs> the problem you describe where the rich own too much and control people's lives is akin to labor camps and where, dot, 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 I don't know, run a truck, run a, tr what? Truck and debt bondage system, as in the song 16 Tons. Yeah, well, whatever. We, we know what, what happened even in America. The king owned all the enterprise. The founding fathers wanted to do business. They wanted to make some money of their own. They wanted to do the goddamn owning, and so they had to get rid of the fucking king to do that. We know how it fucking works, asshole. Uh, to suggest the whole economy works this way sounds almost like a conspiracy theory. No, it's just a goddamn fact. 8,000 households acquire as much income per year as the bottom 70 million Americans who average, okay, those households average $17,000 each. So, so fuck you. Uh, yeah, that's right. They own a hell of a goddamn lot. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's a goddamn fucking fact. Uh, simply stating it works that way is not enough for me. I need more facts. What facts do you goddamn need? Do you know what a fucking IOU is? Do you understand that if somebody owes money, they owe it to somebody, that somebody's holding the fucking IOU? Who the fuck do you think's holding the IOU? You think I'm holding the IOU for the $200,000 I owe the federal government? Are you holding the fucking IOU? Who the fuck's holding the IOUs, you dumb ass? <sighs> you dumb fucking piece of shit. All investment is bad, question mark. Yeah, invest, if you, look, if you're going to do it for the purpose of getting rich, you're, that's right, it's bad investment. If, if, you, if, if that's really your objective, is to own stuff and make money on ownership, that's bad investment. Uh, are you saying all publicly traded corporations are bad? No, I'm saying the stock market's a pile of shit. Okay, that's what I'm saying. 
uh, that, that none of those companies can ever be tr can ever be melted down for the stock price. It's all a fucking illusion. It has nothing to do with reality, uh, real worth, real value. Um, stocks are part of ownership in a venture and are valued on the current assets as well as future earnings. But the point is, though, is what the stock market does is inflate value. It creates inflation. And when that stuff has to be liquidated, it'll liquidate the value of our money. Okay, because they have paper that says they own something that's worth X number of fucking dollars. So if they try to cash it in, they're going to take real dollars for that crap. <laughs> you stupid ass. Uh, yeah, I mean, ideally, the stock market would just be one person stealing the money from another person. But they've changed it into something else. Uh, there's no interest involved. We don't understand the whole concept. Interest is every single time you're making money, okay, on somebody else's labor, it's interest. All right? Any money you make when you don't actually do work and get paid a salary for the work you did, it's fucking interest, asshole. Um, uh, do you understand the difference between stocks and bonds? Yeah, the difference doesn't make, it's not much of a difference. The bond is a straight out loan. That's like the credit card debt. That's like the company basically saying, uh, yeah, give us some money, all right? And you can, you'll get first shot at our assets. But that's all it means. It just means you have first shot at the assets. And the stockholders have second shot at the assets. And neither one of them have, have paper that's worth a goddamn thing, really. Because if the company goes bankrupt, they're fucked. Um... All right, next. Uh, say you have a bunch of people who need jobs and want to manufacture iPods or solar panels or whatever. Uh, yeah, so you, that you have demand, okay? There has to first exist demand. So there's demand for something. The, the existing producers absolutely suck, so there's demand for somebody to do it better, right? That exists. If you can't raise money selling stocks, how are you going to pay for it? Well, that's what we have governments for. That's what we have. Um, that's, that's how we got to the fucking moon. That's how we built the Hoover Dam. All you need is organization. So even if the government did nothing else but organize people and say, okay, um, we need this X amount of dollars to build ourselves a, 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 a public library style insurance company. All right, it'll be run for no profit, and all we need is public investment in this project. And so each of a million people need to donate. Uh, or, or invest $100 and we'll set up this nonprofit business okay and we'll employ people at this hourly rate and we'll ensure that the company is uh, productive and efficient there, there there's a way of doing it and we'll take no profit for doing that we will not establish the federal government as the owner okay there will be no owner you will get your money back plus a, a little increase and that's the end okay no perpetual ownership no perpetual paycheck for your ownership no you invest the end okay no lotteries um, <laughs> uh, do you want uh, only the extremely rich to own everything well I think I've eliminated that possibility and this is why I'm fucking blocking you because you know I've eliminated that possibility all right, you end legacy wealth, you end this obscene fucking inheritance, and you won't have any extremely rich anymore. You'll have maybe one or two people every every century who will own a hell of a lot of stuff, but then they're going to drop fucking dead, and the stuff will go back to being the public's property again. Okay, so fuck you. I've answered the question. I've solved that fucking problem. There will be no more super rich in my fucking world. All right, and I'd also look even beyond the legacy wealth thing. I'd probably be quite agreeable to putting a maximum limit on income of say five hundred thousand dollars a year, so nobody in one lifetime could ever fucking become obscenely wealthy. We don't need these fucking bastards. They are the only ones who will be able to pay such lump sums. That's just more bullshit. Okay, again, there's there's a finite number m amount of stuff. That is the value between, uh, behind every dollar, every stock certificate, every bond has stuff behind it. Okay, and all we're talking about is who controls the stuff. All right, and whether it's going to be controlled in the public interest or whether it's going to be controlled in some selfish bastard's interest. All right, because if they don't own it, then the public will own it. The workers will own it. That's the fact. Okay, if they don't own it, the price goes down. It becomes affordable for every goddamn person to buy it instead of these assholes being the only ones who can afford to own everybody would be able to own we could own each other instead of having these bastards own us 
Um, they are the ones who will be able to pay such a lump sum. No, that's bullshit. Perhaps you want the government to subsidize it. No. As I said, all the government has to do is organize it. They don't need to subsidize it. All they have to do is organize it. All they have to do is permit it to happen, allow it to happen, create the mechanism that will make it happen. Okay? But it can happen without being subsidized. And I wouldn't give a damn if it was subsidized. I think it was a g damn good idea the government subsidized the Hoover Dam. You stupid fuck. It's a good idea they paid to land on the fucking moon. You dumb fuck. Uh, do you really want the government to run everything? No, I don't want some rich fucker to run everything. I don't want them to run anything. Why would I want the fucking rich running anything? The selfish, greedy, gluttonous pigs. Why the fuck would I want them to have control over anything? I don't want them to have a control over an ant farm. Okay, I want them to own nothing. Um, <laughs> how are they to know what will work and what wouldn't? Or whatever that means. What the fuck does that mean? Well, we don't know what is a constructive investment. We don't know what people want. We can't figure out where the demand is.